Well, I've been cooking for a while and it always makes me smile when a recipe turns out just right. I like to saute and grill every day, you know, it satisfies my appetite. Hi, I'm Johnny Moe. I'm the chef owner of Mallards at the Wharf in Hernancock, Virginia. I'm 36 years old and around here, people call me the musical chef. Now, why do you think they call me the musical chef? Because I play guitar and I cook. I also have two self-published cookbooks, which include full-length CDs and over right, 40 using original now. recipes. Then we're going to take fat-free heavy cream. Not. Nah. We're using a real deal, 40% milk fat heavy cream. One pound. A whole pound of, not swimming this morning, but just picked this morning. I went by the crab house on my way here, up from uh, the Eastern Shore of Virginia, and my man Woody from Eastern Shore Crabs was picking this crab meat this morning. And here it is, jumbo lump. No shell, no bone, where'd it go? Let's put a whole pound in there. Bam! Just like that, huh? That's what I'm talking about. And we'll just real gently break that up and fold it in, because we don't want to break those big lumps of crab up. How many people like crab? How many people like salsa? <laughs> How many people like free food? <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm talking about. All right. You ready to rock and roll? All right. a little food, have a good time? Very cool. It's great to see such a large crowd out here. We're going to have fun today. What I'm going to do first here is a song off of my CD that comes with my cookbook. It's kind of a whole twist. It's a musical chef. That's what I do. So uh, this is the title track called Cook With Me. Well, I've been cooking for a while and it always makes me smile when the recipe turns out just right. If you buy the cookbook today, and I'm not trying to be that pushy salesman guy, but you really need to get up all the herbs to go with it because it really helps a lot of the recipes and they're great on anything. So, we got that going here. We'll add a little bit of this white wine. Oh yeah, let's get a little, a little action going there, all right? Then we're gonna throw in our lime juice. We've got on the MP3 and PlayStation 2. They don't even take a step outside and look at the sky so blue. They got cell phone and text and a GPS just to tell them right where to go. They eat dinner in the bedrooms all alone. Watching reality shows, I wanna go back to the days when I had no bills. Biggest thrill, go back to the time when the old man world was so much time to kill. But go back to the days when I came home late and my mama said, Wait till your daddy gets home. Oh, I know, I know, I want to go back. Yeah, Chef Johnny Bowen. Woo. This is. So here we are once again, out of one of my favorite little holes here. We're targeting red drum. Some people call them red fish or puppy drum. It's a small red drum species. Really tasty. You can fry them up, blacken them. Do all kinds of tasty things with them. Right now, we're hoping we can just get one into this rod. Oh, there he is. Got one. Here we go. Don't know what it is. Oh, coming up on the Oh, here he is. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. That's a little puppy drum. Let's get him up in the boat here. Check him out. Just a little guy. But that's what we've been looking for today. It's a baby red drum. Look at those nice black spots on the tail there, let you know he's a redfish. He's a pretty specimen. It tastes real good, but he's a little small to be eating right now. So we're going to let him go. Hopefully we'll get a bigger one a little later. Go on, buddy. I want to tell you about how to select fresh fish with the best quality from your local fish market. Here's what you want to look Today, for. Today, we have a beautiful fresh rockfish or striped bass. One of the most important things you want to do is make sure it does not have an odor to it. It just smells fresh like the ocean, like the sea. Next, you want to make sure the scales are firmly attached and not loose or falling off. Another thing to look for is to make sure the flesh is firm and bounces back to the touch, doesn't leave any sunken in finger marks. Also, you want to make sure for a bright red gills. That's very important. They'll get discolored and purplish looking after a few days. Also, make sure the eyes are clear and bulging, not sunken in the head. So by following these tips, you can make sure that you have the freshest quality fish and seafood on your table. And if you follow these simple and easy instructions, you can rock the kitchen too. What's up everybody, Johnny Mother Musical Chef here on my day off. I'm chilling with some good friends of mine. We got a little charity golf outing. We're having a blast. We got Sean Riley, he's a fellow chef. 
and Vince Lee. He's the bass player in my band. So we're just having a good time. All out here for a good cause. And you guys having a good time today? Oh, yes. Oh, Dynamite, yes. Dynamite, man. We'll catch you up with you guys a little bit later. Hey, this is Johnny Moe catching the sunset right here on the Chesapeake Bay. One of my favorite places to be. I love this life. I love what I do. And I'm so glad that you guys are coming along with me on this awesome adventure. Let's keep making good food. Let's keep having a great time. And if you follow these simple instructions, you can rock the kitchen too. Well, I've been cooking for a while and it always makes me smile when a recipe turns out just right. I like to saute and grill every day, you know it satisfies my appetite. But what I like to do when I'm all alone with you is create a new recipe. Won't you come along and relax for a while, let's explore the possibilities. Won't you cook with me? This recipe, it was meant to be, so won't you cook with me?